Hey guys, back at it again today. I'm gonna do some high speed disking with that 2680H. I'm um, working up some corn stalks and then an old pasture field we started renting. We're gonna turn that into a corn field. So we'll see how that works. All right, you have fun crew. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Yep, I'll see you in a little while. Oh, stuck. So this is a rented farm with not much tile and uh, we plowed it in 2019, in the fall of 2019 and then planted corn here last year and the ground was really soft because we all board plowed it and we rutted it up pretty good. You can probably tell we're bouncing around like crazy. So that's why we wanted to use this disc to level everything out and it's doing a really nice job. Even with only going a couple inches deep, it's really throwing the dirt back and forth and leveling out all these uh, ruts from the sprayer or, or the combine or everything else we went over here with. So, should get us a better start on the year. We still got a bunch of corn to plant, so we're not gonna plant these beans right away anyway, but we're talking rain later today. And once this field gets wet, we might not get a chance to get in here and do this again. So we thought we'd better get in here while it's nice and dry to level this out because these discs can make a bit of a mess if it's too wet, from what I hear. for this field. I think it looks pretty good. Now we gotta head off to that pasture and work that up, see how that works. That's cool, isn't it, Kate? Uh -huh. Wow, that's giant. Was that cool? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, fantastic. How are you? Good. Well, we just finished Al's and we're on our way to Chinatown. Mm-hmm. So do you want to pick up Kate? Because I'll probably be a while monkeying around in these small fields and stuff. Sure. Okay. See you soon. See ya. So I should explain the reason we call it Chinatown is there's this little 14-acre piece that was severed off of one of the farms we own. We have 77 acres and then there's a 44 or a 14-acre piece cut out of it and it was for sale last year and somebody from Toronto bought it and they've been in the country for only like a year and they're from China they don't speak like any English at all we went over here to see him about renting the land and we had to do it through uh, Google Translate so that was kind of fun it's kind of cool so we still don't even know their name so we're calling it Chinatown for now. So 
So it should be pretty interesting because this was a horse farm before these Chinese people bought it. So there's a seven acre field here. And that's been hay as long as dad has been here. Mommy, mommy. Mommy's here. particularly good. <laughs> It's not really chewing it up at all. It's just making grooves. Faster and deeper maybe. this with Roundup two days ago and yesterday spread fertilizer on it. Hey Farmer Dan, why don't you just no-till it or strip-till it? So these fields are pretty rough. Horses running around for years and there's like big ant hills and stuff. So we're trying to get it totally flat and level, start fresh. here I better get rolling what do you think I think I should go back home <laughs> oh yeah we have to do this get it like this so go over it like 10 times yeah. Okay. It's too bumpy. So and uh, the radar looks like it's going to keep raining, so. Okay. Maybe I'll see if I get that in the shop. Okay. Well, that takes the pressure off. a huge improvement. 
Well, I'm starting to make a mess here. So I'm gonna call it quits. This is the first reasonable amount of rain we've had here in a long, long time. It's kind of nice this time of year to have it pretty dry to get the crops in, but I hope this trend doesn't continue all year, because man, every time they said like 70% uh, chance of rain, we get nothing. But we're getting this one, so. See if we can do this without making a mess of the road. I'll pick this one up again once it dries out enough to keep going. See you in hopefully two days. got to adjust the depth a little bit we're gonna make it not so deep okay hey almost over there well it was dry all weekend so we're gonna give this another shot here should be good we'll probably have to go over it a couple more times still I made it a little more shallower see what we can do You're on candid camera again. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know, it's probably as good as it's gonna get, right? Yeah. Is this two more times? There are three. Oh. Maybe I have to plant it this deep. Yeah. Deep. <laughs> yeah. Or plant it shallow and pray for a rain. Or have a rain first and then plant it. Yeah. It's hard to get the fluff out of it. Yeah. Well, it's a lot, lot more, less lumps there than there was before. Yep. Okay, I'm probably just going to try this side just shallow. Hopefully. On that side? Yeah, like I, this is more shallow than it was. Oh, okay. Maybe you have to go over it more but not, not be fluffy four inches down or whatever. Yeah. Give it a try. Yep. So we got that four acre field done. Now we gotta do the seven acres of hay over here. I'm gonna try and not go quite as deep with the disc this time because on that side uh, it's like four inches of fluff so I'm just gonna try and scrape the top a bit more and have a firmer firmer ground to plant into. And it's raining again. Got mud sticking to the tires. Still doesn't look that bad though. I'm gonna keep going. I better get out of here before the neighbors start talking about me. Well, we'll see how much it rains, but I'll pick up again when I'm back at it. Round three.
field worked up about a hundred times. Just doing the headlands now, which is good because dad's just rolling in. He's got that four acre part planted already. He's ready to do this field. There's still the odd lumpy spot, but I'm pretty happy with this considering it had no fall tillage on our clay. Normally if you work it up in the spring, it's just lumps everywhere, but I think this soil's in really good shape too, so. Still that kind of stuff, but Yeah, is that good enough? Yep. That worked perfectly fine over there, so it should be good here too. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, it should grow a good crop of corn. Yep. Okay. Yep. See ya. Well, even the boss man says it looks good, so we're out of here. You're supposed to be able to get a lot done with these discs, but it just took us seven days to do 14 acres. Let's stop at the other field here and see how it looks after it's planted. little bit lumpy a rain would be nice but we'll see what happens thanks for watching 